Hi, this is a short demonstration video of the Mobile Era dashboard and the Mobile First website building platform. When you log into your platform, there are a number of menu items on the left hand side. Depending on the plan that you have, there may be other items in here. We have the home page. We have in the help and support section, there are a lot of tutorial videos, we have welcome videos, we have get started videos, which will give an overview of the platform. Style tab and how to set different fonts and colors, etc. And uh, for your and we have widget section, and in the widget section, we have short two or three minute videos on the various widgets available within the platform. We have more desktop. And here you will have a list of the websites that you have. Depending on the plan, you may have one website that you can build, or you may have more. In the upper right hand corner, we have notifications. So we have AI notifications. We have message notifications. So you'll see here that there are 22 new tutorials since my last visit and we have other notifications so if there's any notifications you can view them here we have the email address for the account that we have logged into we have the plan that we are on we can sign out and we have other details for the purpose of this short video i'm going to demonstrate how to Quickly create the site using one of the templates. To begin with, when you're on mobile and desktop sites, to click on one of the two green to create a new site. You're given two options. You can either use the wizard and one of the ready made templates, or you can use the site editor and build it from scratch. We're going to use one of the templates. Click OK. And here we have a list of all the ready-made templates. Depending on the plan you have, you may have all of these or you may only have some of them. To view what it looks like on desktop, if you click the demo button, it'll bring the website up then on your desktop. So you can see what it looks like. And you can see here that we have a number of different elements or widgets. We have a header widget with text, an image, and a button. We have a content block with text and an image. We have a gallery of images. We have a video and text. We have text and columns. We can have buttons. We have a separator, again, which is another content block with a background image and text. We have a list of elements. These are great for having services or products if we click on one it opens in the modal in this particular version we have a heading we have text and we have an image we can scroll between them and we can scroll back click close we have a form which is handy for if you want people to visit your website and then send you some information or to contact you. We have a map. And again, the map will give you location. And we have a footer. And there's more widgets in the footer. And you can put whatever text you want in here. You can add links to your social media profiles as well. So we're going to choose this particular template. So I'm going to just click on the template. When I do, it opens it up preview on 
on mobile. And of course, as we're mobile first, then that's the reason why we're working on the mobile rather than other builders that would work on the desktop. The template to create the site, click OK and give it a name. And now we have a list of the pages on the website. As you can see, we have one page, which is the home page. So everything that's on this website is all built on the one page. Um, if we want to add a new page, we can click button here, create from scratch. But we're just going to work with what we have. We will cover this in another video. Click on the home page. And it opens up all of the different widgets that have been used to build that particular website. You see we have the header widget, we have a number of content block widgets, we have the thumbnails widget, we have columns of text, we have the list, and we have the form free. So these are widgets that we have used to build this particular website. And you can either delete them by clicking on the red button with the bin on it, or you can click to edit by clicking on the wee orange button with the pencil. When you do so, it opens up that widget and you can edit what there is in the widget. And we will cover editing the widgets in another video. This is just a demonstration to show you what's in. Which is one thing I will briefly touch on is the additional option. Additional options is where you can set the widget to display on mobile only or desktop only. This is great if you want to add, for example, a video to your home page and you want to set it for desktop only, you can then have a mobile version with an image instead of a video. But we'll cover that in a separate video. So go back to the page. Again, we have content. We go in there, we've got a heading. So we have, we have a subtitle, we have text. And we also have some images. You see there the images is playing. We have two images in this particular one. You can add a number of images and they will then in this particular instance slide across for the transition. You can set the from five seconds, do not slide automatically, two seconds or ten seconds. And you can either slide or fade the transition across. You can add a video from YouTube, Vimeo or Facebook. You can add buttons. And again, there are other elements here that we can work on, but we'll cover them in a separate video. Go back to the home page. Adding a widget. If we want to add it, we can simply click on the add a widget. All of the widgets that are available for you to use will be here. If there are any that are dulled out or faded out, they might be available to purchase um, separately, either on an upgrade version or as a one-time payment. You can select any of these widgets and add them in. And if we simply add another content block in. Let's give it a title. Let's put new, click save. To the home page. You will see that that new content block has been added to the bottom. We can now move that to anywhere. On the website, 
We can also adjust, I will delete it. Click OK. We can also adjust the layout of the website. So for example, if I want to have the columns and text under the header, I can do that. And you see that the text and columns has now appeared above the content block that was there. Move it back down again. And then click and save and update when you make any changes. The two other elements that I want to quickly touch on is the header. Whilst well, this is a header widget, we also have the header section in the website, which is this section here. And again there, the header under options. And you can add in your logo, favicon, if you want to add any additional contents in here, like HTML or anything above the header bar, you can do so here. We can add buttons in. We can put social links in the header as well as in the footer. We can also add some custom script in here. So for example, if you have Google Analytics or other scripts, they can be added in to the header section. The footer. Remember in the footer we had different widgets that were being used. At the bottom. These here. So this is where we put the content blocks and the different links in. And again they operate the same way as in the main page. Except they will display on your full site on all of the pages and you can add in if you want to have a menu on the bottom so for example we'll have a menu here at the top that would have the different pages on it if you want to have a menu showing on the bottom with the different pages you can do those here you can add in if it's just simple pages or if you have the current page plus any children pages coming from it. And we'll cover that in a separate video. So that brings us to the end of this brief video on creating the website. Another thing I might just want to cover is the fact that you'll see here that says HTTPS. All of the websites, as soon as you start it, can be viewed live. This is live on this core URL, and it is secure with an SSL certificate on it. So it means that whenever you build a website, even if you haven't got a custom domain on it, the website that you build is fully secure. If you want to share it, bring up the QR code and simply scan that. You can save the QR code and then use it on printed materials to hand out. And that brings us to the end of this short demonstration video. I will cover other widgets and elements in separate videos.